Greetings viewers, it's me, good old H here, back with another update video, I guess. We haven't had one of these in about a month, so I wanted to kind of check back in. I know the content's once again been a little bit inconsistent lately, that's why I wanted to make a quick update video. Um, that's the only video we're going to get today, I'm sorry about that, but I've just been kind of busy these past few days. But um, so we should be getting back on track starting this week, um, and that's what I wanted to talk about is, first off, um, Fire Emblem Three Houses, definitely our most popular series on the channel. Um, we're probably going to be finishing that up hopefully either by the end of this week or the end of next week. Uh, if you hear cars nearby, I'm actually recording this outside since I'm kind of in the middle of something. But um, yeah, we have Fire Emblem, Three Houses. That should be finishing up real soon. Uh, and the second we finish that up, I'll probably take a little bit of a break from Three Houses and then we'll be starting up um, two new series, actually, hopefully. Um, I want to do Fire Emblem, either Blazing Sword or Sacred Stone, since I have that for the Wii U. So I want to do that. Um, I probably won't be using the like the full the save feature on that because I think that's a little bit cheap. But um, then I'll also be doing uh, Radiant Dawn. Now my friend recently gave me uh, Radiant Dawn to borrow because obviously he wouldn't give it to me. That's a super expensive game. It's like almost two hundred dollars uh, to find a good like one that's in good condition. But um, he says that sometimes that the the disc jumps a little bit. So I'm gonna if there's a little bit of problems in there, you'll probably see it. I'll probably let everyone know on the first episode of that. But that should be coming. Maybe not this week. Probably next week is we'll start Radiant Dawn or not Radiant Path of Radiance. I'm talking about Path of Radiance, the GameCube version. <laughs> Path of Radiance first, and I also have Radiant Dawn. I bought that recently, so we'll go Path of Radiance, then we'll go on to Radiant Dawn, uh, doing the highest difficulty on both. I don't know if Maniac Mode is available because I think that's Japanese uh, only, like the Japanese version only. But I wouldn't. I don't know if I'll even do that because apparently, if you go Maniac Mode, it's like horrible to do for your first try because like you have to know every map and every chapter or else you're just going to get destroyed. So I do like a lunatic or something. It really just depends. Um, so I can't wait for all of you to see me complain about how hard the game is because apparently Path of, I think it was either Path of Radiance or Radiant Dawn. One of the two is apparently extremely hard. And I've never, I've only played like the first five chapters of Path of Radiance and it's been a long time since I've done it too. So like, I pro it probably won't even be, it's not fresh in my mind. So the, both playthroughs will be, for the most part, completely blind. I know some things here and there, mostly just from like um, being in the fan base and also from freaking Fire Emblem Heroes. But besides that, I really don't know too much. Um, but those, uh, yeah, definitely those two are coming. Uh, Silver Snow is finishing up, and then I want to start doing some challenge runs. I think the first thing that I want to do is probably a new game plus Blue Lions run, where I just make everybody the opposite class of like what they should be. So like Dimitri, he'd be like a cleric. The prof, he'd be like a knight or something stupid. Um, Annette would be also be like a knight, like, and make everyone like stupid classes. And that something about that just seems really funny to me. Just make them all like memed classes, and then I like recruit some people. Like, if I were to recruit like Lawrence, he would be the dancer or something. Just something stupid like that. I don't know. I would just want something fun. Maybe we, we could even have like Dudu as the dancer. Actually, Dudu as a dancer would be really funny. So yeah, I would really like to. I would just like to do a little, just a fun route. And we probably wouldn't do any paralogs on that. I think I would only do main chapters. I wouldn't show off any of like the supports. Maybe I'd show off a couple here and there that I haven't seen before. But for the most part, we'd only do like main chapters. I don't think we'd do paralogs. I'd do all off, all that off screen, just because it'd be more for like a fun run, and uh, showing the gameplay off more than the story um, would be the focus in that sort of playthrough. So if anyone's uh, excited for that, let me know what other ideas for like fun routes. I've seen people do like Bylas solo. I want to. I kind of want to do like a Byleth solo with the Golden Deer. Um, it'd be kind of interesting though, because you have to bring Claude like all the time. So do you have to like protect him all the time? I don't know. I've never done a solo route before. Um, I tried doing one in. Actually, I did. I actually did do a, a solo. Run. I did one in Fates, but it was really boring, and I just like quit halfway through because the chapters became so easy after I just put like a bunch of breaker skills on Corrin. Um, yeah, there was new Pokemon DLC announced. Uh, I'm still working on raising my competitive teams. Um, that price still won't be around for a while. There was Pokemon DLC announced and we'll definitely be continuing uh, the Pokemon right where we left off. I think it was like episode 24 was the last one, so we'll do episode 25. And from there, we'll continue on with DLC um, as it comes out. I know there's like a little bit of a demo coming out and I don't, I don't know, oh, sorry, the demo, um, the demo for, Hold on, sorry. Now, there's a little, there's like a little sneak peek for, uh, like with the Slowpoke thing, I won't be doing that uh, recently. I'll wait until it comes out in the summer. Um, then Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, 
uh, the Rescue Team DX. I'm definitely getting that, and we're definitely doing a playthrough. I cannot wait to play that game. Um, so whenever March comes, we'll definitely be playing that. Animal Crossing could come as well. I'm not sure about that. I don't know about Animal Crossing, especially since I don't know much about any of the other games. I only know what people have told me, and then I played like a good 30 minutes of New Leaf, and then I stopped on someone else's save file. So that's all I really did. Um, so I might, I don't know, I don't know about Animal Crossing yet. That's still up to, uh, up in the air. If you want to see some Animal Crossing, let me know, definitely. I'm really looking for feedback here as well. Um, so like, especially, well, I guess first question is with Fire Emblem, uh, which one do you want to see first? Would you rather see Blazing Sword or Sacred Stones? Um, the Binding Blade isn't on the Wii U, um, so I can't buy it. I could emulate it, but I'd rather not do that because I'd rather actually have the physical copy before I try and do that. Um, so if I buy it, maybe that's an option. And maybe we should do uh, Binding Blade before we do Blazing Sword. So we might do Sacred Stones first, because uh, I really like Sacred Stones as well. And that's the game that loots in. She's my favorite uh, Fire Emblem character so far. Uh, she's almost overtaken by Dimitri, though. <laughs> Dimitri's really good. Anyway, uh, we also have some collaborative things coming up. I also mentioned this in the last update, but um, we've been working with my friend Crimson EXE, also named Cole. Um, we've been working on trying to do a new, uh, a new collaborative-based series. Um, so what we do, I think we're just called like Crimsonated H or something like that, and we do a, we play a whole bunch of games together. So like the first thing we got to do is we want to play the Persona games, we want to play Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. The first game we actually will play is Fire Emblem Warriors. We've been working on that actually quite a bit. We've been working on voices for some characters, um, what characters we would play, how we'd switch off, and how we'd go through the story. We'd only be doing like the story. We wouldn't do any of like the extra stuff because that just that just takes forever and it's not really fun to watch. So we'd only really do the story and that's about it. Um, we'd have I have do I do have the DLC for that as well. All three waves of DLC. So we'll actually we'll have every every Fire Emblem Warriors DLC character in there. So hopefully we'll play at least we'll have at least. Um, each character go on the field at least once, but it's mostly we're just going to be the frickin' Lemon Twins and just mess around. But, um, that's another thing coming soon. What else? Oh yeah, Smash. We have Smash. We've been doing a lot of Smash recently, and by a lot, I mean like four episodes. And I kind of want to continue that. I know it doesn't get as many views as like the Fire Emblem, because I know most of you are here from Fire Emblem, but I want to start doing a lot more Smash. I know I'm not really good at it right now, and I've been practicing, I've been putting in like an hour each day, trying to get better at Smash. Um, especially like with Joker, Lucina, Pikachu, and a couple of other characters like Rob. I'm thinking about picking up Palutena, but a lot of people say she's super cheap, so I don't know. I don't really like playing as cheap characters. Um, I've been thinking about doing DDD as well, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see what characters I'm looking into more. Um, I, wanna, I might want to do some fun characters like Pac-Man. Like, I've seen some cool Pac-Man combos, and I want to try that out. Maybe pick up Mewtwo as well. I don't know. Um, but pretty much the Smash will be, I want to try and make Smash a little bit more consistent. Maybe we'll have like three Smash videos a week, something like that. Um, and I want to start bringing back double uploads, but right now my schedule doesn't really allow that. So we'll be having probably just single episodes for a little bit longer. Might have some double uploads here and there. Um, uh, and if things do, I want to, I, I'm, I am sticking with my New Year's resolution, especially this is part of it, um, by uploading every single day. So we'll always have at least one video a day. That's for sure. Um, I want to make sure I stick with that. Make sure we always have one video a day, no matter what. And if that, if I can't start doing double uploads, I want to start doing like um, seven uploads or like ten uploads a week, something like that, where I do like two Monday, two Wednesday, two Friday, and then one for like the rest of the days, something like that. Um, I don't know, because I just I like to I want to push out more content, and especially with all the series that I want to start, I need to start editing a little bit more. But my schedule is kind of busy once again, so. Yeah, it's just gonna have to go from there, and I'm working on my other channels as well, so, I don't know. I, I got a lot of stuff in the works, um, I just have to ask you to trust me on that because, I don't know, I, I have a lot that I want to work on, and I have a lot of plans that I want to make, especially for my main channel, and I'm getting really close to starting to finish there, so, once I have a little bit more resources and stuff built up, uh, those channels will start coming back in. Um, I know my third channel, I have some more cards to open, they just came into the mail today, so I want to open up those cards soon. But I gotta study my katakana a little bit more because I was, it was pretty brutal last time. I was getting destroyed by not remembering it after like two years. But I guess that's everything. Um, anything else is we should be getting a Nintendo Direct coming up here soon. So I'll probably do like a Smash video where I talk about that. Um, where I'll play Smash and talk about the Nintendo Direct and see what games I want to get. So 
obviously, if there's any like main party uh, Switch games that are coming out and you really want to see me uh, play them, definitely leave a request um, down below as well. Um, I'm thinking about getting a PS4 sometime here soon. I don't know if I will because I've heard rumors about PS5 having compatibility with like previous games. And if that's true, I definitely want to save my money for a PS5, even though they'll probably sell out for like the first three months like they did with the PS4. Um, but if that doesn't happen, I want to pick up a PS4, play Persona, like the, the Persona series. I want to play um, the Persona side games. I'm getting Persona 5S. Because I, I want. here's the thing with Persona. I want to start um, by playing Persona 5, then I want to get the Royal, and I like, kind of notice the differences between the two. If that's not possible, maybe we'll just play the Royal. Because I haven't seen the ending for Persona 5 yet. I've only seen up to the point um, where you fight this, like the second to last, or the, where the last person recruits. I've seen um, the boss fight for that. Up to that point, I don't really know much after that. Um, well, I know I know a little bit after that point, but I know like uh, pretty much up to that point, and I have not seen the ending yet. So I've been keeping myself spoiler free because I want to do it on the channel, and that'd be a collaborative thing as well. I'd be doing that with my friend Crimson EXE. And then I want to also play Persona 5 uh, S, Persona 5 S, yeah, the, the Strikers, the Phantom, or Scramble, Persona 5 Scramble, the Phantom Strikers, or whatever, I want to play that on the Switch, um, because that'll be like another Warriors-based game, but apparently it also has like a lot of story to do with it as well, continuing off after Persona 5, so I definitely want to check those out, and I also want to play 1 through 4 as well, or I guess 1, 2, and then there's like two different versions of Persona 2, I know that's like for the PS1 or 2, so I really don't know how I'll be playing those, and I don't know how expensive they are, but I just want to know that Persona is definitely going to be coming in the series because I've been really getting into that the past year. I really love that series. I also want to start playing a lot more of the Kingdom Hearts games um, because my one of my friends does have like the entire three pack, so I want to see if I can borrow that from him, play a whole bunch of the games. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably release another uh, update. I want to see if I can do one of these a month, maybe, just so that I can keep everyone updated. Um, once I finally reached 1,000 subscribers, which I was kind of hoping we'd get that, uh, we'd reach before my first anniversary, which is January 30th, I think, which is when I posted my first video, which was the Duma, um, the Duma summoning, uh, out in, like, super cold weather. It's actually pretty cold weather out here. I'm getting pretty chilly. Um, but I want to do something special for that, so if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments once again. Uh, and thank you for leaving your comments. I really appreciate any comment I get. I, re I read all of them. Or at least most of them, unless they're like spoiler related, then I just kind of, I always skim through the comments to make sure they're not spoiler related. And if, I, if they are, I just, unfortunately, I can't read them yet, but I always go back and look at them. I really do. Um, so I guess think, I just want to thank you for your comments. And I, I, I want to do an update video like every month. When I reach a, a thousand subscribers, which hopefully should be, hopefully within like the next few months, um, I'm going to be trying to push out more content and more... I don't know, more exciting things to look at, um, and better editing as well. I know my editing could use a little bit of work, um, but once we reach 1,000, we have like the little community page that opens, that way I'll be able to post and update everybody, all you viewers, about what the heck is going on. So I guess that's all I really had to talk about in today's little update, so thanks for listening in. Um, sorry about uh, not really having a serious upload today, I just wanted to up uh, update everybody, and I also just didn't have too much time, but we'll be getting back on a consistent schedule here real soon so thanks for uh thanks for bearing with me and i hope you enjoy the content to come i'll see you later everybody Bye bye